hey guys you're welcome back to the channel it's lifestyle with hadassa and i'm esther mm -hmm. if you're new here hi 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 it's really good to meet you you're welcome i really hope that you like my content and that you decide to subscribe and join the family okay and if you're a returning subscriber hello hello hi thank you so much for always coming back to watch more videos mm. so hmm, yay <laughs> Mm, yes, yeah, so you're yeah, welcome to another house tour. This is my third house tour on this channel. Only me, only me. And I've not even bought my own house yet. It's rented apartments that I've been showing you before. You can't blame me. You blame the landlords of the country where I live in. Mm. Georgian landlords, it's their fault, it's not my fault. So, <laughs> anyways, guys, you're welcome to my new apartment tour. And yeah. <laughs> what's very interesting about this particular talk hmm, is the fact that this video is sponsored <laughs> i'm actually very excited like yeah today's video is sponsored by deluxe real estate agency uh popularly known as zodox and because like the person so the person that runs the agency most people here know him as zodox so if you just ask oh i'm looking for zodox mm -hmm, they are more likely to know who you're talking about than if you say maybe okay deluxe real estate agency but yeah that's the agency sponsoring today's video mm -hmm. so that was the guy that helped me get to this apartment he had reached out to me like asking if i'm going to do a house tour and stuff so for me to be coming to talk about it there's already evidence all around you're about to see the apartment that he got for me so if you want something similar if you want something nice if you want something good just hit him up his details will be on the screen his details will be in the description box as well hit him up at any time he's going to help you give him your budget tell him what you want tell him your the location your preferred location and stuff and you check through the options that he has and pick the one that you prefer the most okay so yeah thank you very much deluxe real estate agency for sponsoring this video and also for helping me get to this apartment which i love love because honestly guys i was really scared of finding a good apartment after i was living my previous apartment because the way landlords were hyping prices i'm just like hey let me actually get a nice place for an affordable rate it's not the cheapest but it's okay it's affordable it's okay <laughs> i come because compared to what landlords are charging at this point getting this apartment for the price that i got it for because i promise you if you've not seen that video of where i moved my house hunting journey i'm going to link it up there so you check and you see the other options that i saw and like how i share my story of how the other apartments that i saw they had one issue or the other those ones they were from another agent don't worry it was not from zodox okay <laughs> they're from another agent sorry my house i can see people from where i am and they're smiling at me because i'm recording a video but anyways <laughs> so as i was saying those ones were not he was not the agent that helped me like took me to those houses but yeah this was like the best offer that i saw on that day when i went to search and god knows i was not in the mood to do a lot of searching so good location good apartment good landlord like yeah it's a very good place so yeah i highly recommend him he was also very patient like willing to like show you different options it's just that me i was not in the mood i just wanted to go one day pick something and set so so yeah he can help you with all of that okay okay so now that all of that is out of the way let's move on to the main reason why you are here i know you want to see my house what my house looks like as i said before this is the brand new apartment in fact the building is not even complete yet they are still building so i still hear bo, 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 bo. <laughs> and all those things so we are the very first people to move in so that's why i'm like yeah everything still new and sparkling so let me do my turn now when i don't have to do a lot of deep cleaning okay <laughs> so well yeah you're welcome to my apartment you're welcome 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 i'm going to take you down to the door and let's begin the talk proper so when you come in this is the first view that you meet so you're welcome this is the first view that you meet when you come inside let me bring it in my what is it called looks like a hotel the balcony or whatever so when you come in this is the first view you see i'm going to bring it in and show you the detailing a bit detail, detail so how the door is black and beautiful like the door knob and door handle and stuff but yeah this is our entrance 
so this is where we like hang our coats and jackets i have way more coats than this but i have to take them out because of this tour because this place is usually crowded we have this very little tiny cute little mirror here that i'm still trying to decide if this is actually how thin i am or it just makes me look thinner than i actually am but i don't know we also have this vacuum cleaner that came with the house this is ours we came with it when we came i don't even really know if these floors are really for vacuum cleaning like am i supposed to use a vacuum cleaner on this floor i've used it a few times sure but i think this one is just really faster for me so i just most of the time stick with this i have like two rugs now so i use this for my rugs specifically that's the vacuum cleaner this tool i bought myself because many of the cabinets are like high not everything but some of them are high so we use this to climb to climb up and i wanted to make sure that it still fits the aesthetics of the house that's why it's white <laughs> these are for like my shoes and stuff we have our iron here my old house had a cupboard i really made that cupboard thingy because it was easy to keep things away because i don't really like having things outside i would rather they are inside i don't know if you get so well, we don't really have that here so that's why most of the time this place is crowded with a lot of jackets and stuff but i mean it's fine it's a living space we're looking for a cheap house that's too nice <laughs> oh yeah so that's it for the entrance over here we have the bathroom you probably noticed that the thing with georgian houses that once you come in many times the bathroom is the first place you stop by so over here we have the bathroom so come let's go into the bathroom which i love 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 so you're welcome to my bathroom <laughs> i don't know what to say but you're welcome i love it actually i like that i can feel content here because it looks nice the lights are not as bright as my other house but it's it's just great it's just good like how cute is this? This is like the cutest base basin that I have ever had. It's so cute. This is what I was talking about, guys. We still have nylons on some things. We just left this one. We took out some of the others, but we left this one. So this for storage and stuff, detergents and stuff, fabric softeners, all these things. Here we have like our shower gel, um, shampoo, face soap. All of these things are down here. I got these. I tried to fit the aesthetics of the bathroom and stuff, so I got these because they're cute and they like go with the vibe. Can you see? <laughs> Gives me like hotel. Actually, I should keep this here because why is he hiding behind here? Just like can't easily fall off. And then we put this one here. I like that this place is not like fully covered. I mean, it's annoying sometimes. Because after a shower, there's usually like water down here, but it keeps it smelling fresh because there's always like air. It's always air, so that's fine. I'm not, I'm not too mad. I also really, I'm grateful that we have the three shower heads with the small, small big, and then this other tap, tap, tap light type. And that's basically it. Oh, by the way, there's this very cute thing that I bought from the mall for cleaning the toilet. <laughs> it's not like your regular toilet clean out. I got this from the mall because we didn't have one here in the house when we moved in. It's very cute. <laughs> Okay, so after you come from the door or from the bathroom, the next place you come into is the living room, the living room area. Over here we have the kitchen area, the kitchen space. I think we should do the kitchen before we go on to the uh, couch and stuff. So yeah, let's do the kitchen. Come closer. Come, 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 come. <laughs> So over here we have the kitchen, um, normal regular kitchen, I guess. 
there's really nothing much to see here we have an oven the gas cooker this is my property that we came with and then this for like drying stuff i really like that we have this thing here because like it helps with the draining sometimes i drain here first before i move them here or oh, if this place is full then we drain there oh then we also have this for like washing and this thing is so good like it's very useful it's very easy to use like i can be washing my dishes and there's the plate in my hand and i just press it and then use it i don't have to keep the plate first carry one big thing and pull my hand and all of that so it makes it very easy to use we have our vent over here yeah. we have okay so we have this magnetic um covers so that, that there's no like handles although these ones are not magnetic so we have like spices and stuff here these ones down here are also magnetic we have like cups plates spoons all those things stored down here there and then the oven that we're still yet to launch we've still never used it and then the gas cooker this is supposed to be for wine but we put <laughs> we put tea things here because we don't really drink wine like that in this house maybe one day we'll build a mini wine collection or something i don't know but yeah that's that we have like other tiny little drawers here as well we have the fridge here it's so weird going from a bigger a big fridge to a small fridge like, i don't really know how <laughs> it's a struggle surviving in this fridge but anyways we have this here and then of course i have to come with my cute little basket both for aesthetics and for storing things in more cabinets and stuff to like store things that's basically for the kitchen oh by the way this i love my sink here is not the biggest but i love i love it it's a good enough size i already talked about having like this thing here to like drain things and stuff it can be removed if i want to take it out i also like that this thing is movable so you can like move it around it makes cleaning easy i already showed you guys this one right you can take soap from it and stuff it makes washing dishes very easy we have this thing here that i got from the mall this is basically a it's called a bamboo something something i've forgotten but it's basically for when we finish cooking because of how everything is still new whenever we're moving out i don't want things to look too worn out i mean you cannot really avoid the inevitable so it will obviously look a little bit worn out because wear and tear is a real phenomenon but i don't want it to look too worn out so i'm trying to avoid a case where we damage this top so we got this so when we finish cooking and we take out like hot pot we don't just drop it directly on this thing we put it here instead so that's what this is for it has these things it's from tbilisi mall in case you want to get it you can just check in tbilisi mall so yeah that's what this is for and i think that's basically it for the kitchen yeah i think that's basically it for the kitchen So that's our kitchen let's move on to the parlor sir i don't even know what to call it sitting area tv area because uh, as you can obviously see the kitchen is just directly opposite the tv area <laughs> and my, my friend always complain about how he can see this house in a very different light like how things would have been moved differently and this tv instead of being there would have been here the kitchen could have been moved because we have a very big balcony that is, i don't know why it's that big the space is just wasting so if the kitchen had been moved and then this tv brought here because like he cannot understand the positioning of this tv but well me i'm not i'm not, comp <laughs> I'm not complaining though <laughs> i'm not please so <laughs> but yeah we have a tv i'm sure I'm just happy that at least it's not a tiny tv it's big then over here we have like our speaker which we brought from the other house this was a gift our speakers 
this is a passage which I so sometimes it can be quite inconveniencing having it there, but it's really not that bad. That is not as bad as it looks, I promise. Then this is the sitting area or couch. So these chairs should actually be for the balcony but for now we have them here because it's winter and you know, who is going to go and sit outside so that's why they are in here they are also useful for me in this part because we don't really have any table but it we've not really had need for like one since we already have this so there's not really been a problem this couch can be opened up to serve as a bed as well this is my blanket if you remember it from my other house tour used to be my room but because i have a better blanket now i just left this outside for like when you feel cold and you're in the living room and stuff so this one doubles up as a storage space so we store things in here i don't know if you can see but yeah we store things in here this is also for like if you're cold and you're in the living room i guess that's basically it for the living room yeah that's it a uh, very 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 cute chandelier So from the living room, this is my housemate's room. This door leads to her room. And this leads to mine. Okay, so come in, let's go. I ready to come in. Let me turn the light. No, no, let's leave it on. Tada, my room, you all. So you're welcome to my room. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know what to say guys. Oh my I feel like I've done this too much at this point. I don't know. It's the same things basically. I just move things here and there. We arrange things. But yeah, you're welcome to my room. This thing has followed me through thick and thin. Three houses and we're still going. <laughs> I got a better blanket, which is like the other ones outside. This was from my landlord. It was not original in the house, but I had asked her and she brought it, thankfully. Actually, initially, the, the, the amount we got this house for was not the initial amount of the house. But thanks to the dogs, he helped us to like talk to the landlady and we came to a good enough negotiation. Yeah, he was, he was actually quite helpful, yeah. So these are my portraits that I put here instead of the previous design. And then I moved things. This one's my prayer wall is going to be like somewhere here or here. I'm still yet to decide. I've not been able to find the papers that I came. I know I read them here, but I don't know where I kept them, which is why I've not put them up yet. But I know very soon I'll find them and I'll put them up. In the meantime, I'll just put any new ones that I come up with here, either here or here. One of them. I'm co really considering here because that way I can write more personal things. But because it will be covered, people don't really see it, like with the curtain. So people don't really see it. So, but yeah, that's really it for my room. That's really it. I also have like a balcony, so I can go out from here. We have a table tennis court like outside. My hair stuff is over here. I have shoes up there. These for my bags. And then we have books down there. So this size too also doubles up as a storage space and I love it for that. I got this very cute little rug. I really like it. It's so soft. So like this other rug is for like cleaning my leg when I come into the room before I take off my slippers and then put my leg on this soft one. My hands are still color coordinated, which is amazing. <laughs> I 
also have one more week down here so like if i stall any week that i just keep it here it's easy to like grab it when i need to use it oh i don't have a chair here maybe i'll get one maybe i won't so far i've not really had need for it because i can just move the table and then sit on my bed but if, if it comes to it maybe i'll get a chair because that one the palo is not very comfortable like, to sit on in front of this table my dad got me this blanket when i went to nigeria last time i liked the color but i, I just felt like it would never i don't know i was not sure how it would fit in to my house because what i actually wanted were white blankets but can you now see he saw into the future because they fit perfectly for this and for this room and even the wallpaper has a little gill tint on it that also like complements with this so well, yeah <laughs> these are for like dirty clothes these are the sheets i took out last before i put this one stationery is basically just random stuff that i use that's it that's it okay guys so that's it for this video i hope you enjoyed it if you did please give it a thumbs up also share comment subscribe all that good stuff don't forget very important don't forget to contact the Lux real estate agency if you are ever house hunting okay they'll help to make your life easier again these details are on the screen in the description box you can hit me up if you have more questions okay and thank you so much for watching if you still haven't subscribed i really wonder why i cannot understand why why you haven't so please do okay i will see you guys in my next video until then stay healthy stay safe and bye <laughs> Hopefully I don't do any other house tour to leave this country because I'm tired.